Hi everyone, it's Rachel back with the Shades of Orange and today I want to talk about some science fiction and a little bit of fantasy I've been reading lately. This includes some of my most anticipated releases for 2020 and I definitely have some good recommendations here. All that being said, let's get started. First, I want to talk about a science fiction novella that I received from Tor.com and that is Infina by Nino Sapri. And this has a fantastic premise. This is about a group of employees working at a Scandinavian furniture store, kind of like Ikea, but not. And they discover that there are portals within the store that connect them to other multiverses. And they discover this when an elderly woman goes missing and they believe she has wandered off into another world. They are tasked with going and tracking her down, which means going through these portals. And the story is told from the perspective of a woman who has just broken up with their partner and they are dealing with that breakup and of course as chance would happen they are forced to go through the portals with that person. Now I'm trying to use the right pronouns because the person that they are with is gender queer or does not identify as either male or female but rather are non-binary and I really like that aspect to the book. I don't read enough books with non-binary characters and I just found it to be a really interesting aspect to the story because there was a lot of conversation around misgendering and identity and just the challenges that come with not necessarily falling into neat categories as our society likes to put people into. And this story was very much character focused, but at the same time, there was a really good plot. I would say this is science fiction with a little bit of horror because they do encounter some crazy furniture in some of the other stores and it definitely goes into the weird and wacky. And it's not really scary, but it was so much fun. I was surprised how much I enjoyed this one. I thought I would like it, don't get me wrong, I requested it for a reason, but I love this one. Like this one is my first contender for my favorites of the year because I just devoured it. I want to reread it. It was funny and just very heartfelt at the same way. So if that sounds like the kind of story you enjoy, I would definitely recommend it. It did remind me quite a bit of Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. So if you enjoyed that one, I would definitely recommend this one as well. And yeah, it was just fun and emotional and so many good things. I just want to keep gushing about it. But even though it's novella, it definitely left a lasting impression on me and I cannot recommend it enough as you can tell. Next, I want to talk about Bent Heavens by Daniel Krauss and this is actually a book that I received a digital copy of after I talked about it in my most anticipated science fiction for 2020. So obviously I went into this one with high expectations and I'll say it was a little bit different than I expected. So this story is about a man who goes missing and then shows up again about five or six days later. And he believes that he was kidnapped or stolen away by aliens. Then he goes missing again and is never seen again. The story is told from his daughter's perspective. Years later, she is still trying to figure out what happened to her father. In the days after his first disappearance, he came back just not himself. They thought that he was possibly mentally ill. He just seemed paranoid and was just trying to prepare himself for the possibility of the aliens coming back. And so what she is doing is going around and checking traps that her father used to set for aliens. And she does this with her best friend. And along the way, they end up checking one of the traps and sure enough, they find something in it. And the thing that they find doesn't appear to be human. And that's a setup for the story. I thought this book would be more of like an ET style book and it's really not what the synopsis is. Don't get me wrong, everything I've told you is true and happens in the book, but the book that you expect from that isn't what you get. I'll say that this book is very character focused. It is technically young adult, but this is a case where I would consider this to be an all ages story. Other than the ages of the characters, it really avoids the classic tropes of the young adult or YA genre. But as a story, it was much more serious and actually sad than I was expecting it to be. And it's so hard to talk about without giving away spoilers, but people are not necessarily gonna like the ending. I was a bit disappointed in it. I did see it coming. I can see other people really hating it. Maybe some people will like it. 
but I gave this one an average rating because it just wasn't what I wanted and I just found it to be a little bit mediocre. So I realize I'm being a little bit quiet and not saying a lot in this review, but there's a reason for that. This book is definitely one you don't want to get spoiled for, but it's not quite what you think and it's not really about the aliens. Now, last for science fiction, I want to talk about a book that I actually did not finish. I DNF this one, and I usually don't talk about these books on my channel, but I'm thinking about changing that, so I definitely want some feedback from all of you. The book I want to talk about is Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky, and the reason I want to talk about this one is first and foremost, it was on my list of books I wanted to read in 2020, and it's also a very popular science fiction book, at least here on BookTube. I did this as a buddy read with Shannon. Shannon, Jade, and Bethany, and I'm going to leave their channels linked down below. They all read a little bit of science fiction as well as some fantasy. And I know Shannon and Jade both really enjoyed this one. However, Bethany decided to join me in DNFing it. And I will say that this book is not bad. It just simply wasn't what I wanted and I wasn't enjoying it enough to want to finish it. So this is set in a future where humans decide to play God and they go about trying to genetically modify monkeys in order to make them uplifted and intellectual. And they want to start a race of these intellectual monkeys on another planet and kind of continue on with the earth population and kind of grow humanity into the larger world. And so in doing this, right at the beginning of the book, something goes wrong and instead they end up uplifting spiders. And you get to see chapters from the perspectives of the spiders. And from the premise, I thought this book was gonna sound really cool. I knew it wasn't horror. I knew the spiders were not scary. Lots of people told me that they weren't. And so I didn't go in expecting a science fiction horror book. But instead, the reason that I decided to DNF it is that I really did not connect with the narrative. I thought the idea of this book was interesting, but the way it was written, I just felt like I was watching a story unfold from behind glass and I never connected with the characters. It's really not a character driven story. And I just found like the author, the way the narrative was put together just really pushed me away from the story and I just found myself struggling to care if I'm honest. So it's not a bad book. Had I pushed through, I probably would have given it like a three star rating on Goodreads. But in my goals this year, I am really trying to focus on quality over quantity. And part of that means DNFing books that I'm not loving. I just found myself having a really stressful week and I wanted to pick up a book that I was actually enjoying. And I just found this book okay. I think the writing's fine and the ideas are cool, but this book was just simply not for me. Obviously other people love this book on booktube so if it still sounds up your alley i say go for it but if you're someone who likes very close intimate science fiction you really like to get to know the characters and have the characters as the center of the story this one may not work for you so keep that all in mind i would love to know if you're interested in me doing this more often and talking about my dnfs because i'm not sure if i'll continue this but i decided to try it out here and get some feedback and finally, I want to talk about one fantasy book, and that is Guild of Tokens by John Auerbach. This is one I heard about from Caitlin at Kitty G because she is a judge in the self-published blog off that's hosted by Mark Lawrence. And she had this book on her shortlist and I heard about it from her and thought it sounded really great. I did not actually get a review copy of this, rather I entered an Instagram giveaway and won a digital copy and I was so happy I got a chance to read it. So this is a book that I would describe as lit RPG and it follows a woman in our world that is a coder and then one day she is bored on her computer looking through her email and she gets this message inviting her to go and check out this message board. On there she finds these tasks to do or you could call them quests and they are really obscure things so things like going and getting a train ticket or going and getting some groceries and then leaving them in the park and by doing these tasks she is able to collect these tokens and with time you realize that as she gets more tokens she begins to level up she starts to learn more about the guild that is running this and this is basically a real-life 
version of an RPG video game. And I very much enjoyed that premise. I am always looking for fantasy that is a little bit outside the box. I don't always connect with those really classic fantasy stories. Instead, I like fantasy that takes those elements and does something really different. And this one was just so crazy unique and I just really enjoyed it, especially because I do play some video games, so the idea of like going and doing little quests and you get a little bit of money and you slowly level up just, just worked so well for me. So if you also enjoy that kind of idea, this one is really fun. I liked getting to know the guild. I'll say if I had a criticism, I found the middle section maybe a little bit muddled in terms of narrative, and I got a little bit distracted in that middle section, but overall it was really enjoyable. I would definitely read more. I believe it's the start of a series, and it was just so much fun, like such a unique idea. It's technically urban fantasy, but I hate to use that label because it kind of is so different than anything else that is typically labeled as urban fantasy. It doesn't have that heavy romantic aspect to it, and I just think it stands on its own. So if you're looking for fantasy that is really different, this is such a good one to check out. I know that Caitlin recommended it and I second that. I think this one is fantastic. So that is it for this video. A couple things I'm gonna leave you with. As always, let me know if I've enticed you to pick up any of the books I mentioned here. Also, I want some feedback on how you feel about me talking about DNFs. I don't feel comfortable to actually review them because if I only get like 30 to 50% through, I recognize that I did not finish the book, which makes my thoughts on the book incomplete. But I might do this more often because I do DNF a lot of books and it's kind of a shame to read half a book and then not feel like I can talk about it on my channel. So definitely want your feedback there. Otherwise, I'm discovering that I'm really into the subgenre of lit RPG. So if you do know other books that fall into that genre, I would love, love your recommendations. All that being said, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and like, comment, and all that good stuff. I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.